what was that one called? I've already forgotten. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a fun video for y'all today. I'm gonna run through my different BH Cosmetics baked palettes. A couple of you guys had asked for more information about these palettes and just kind of like to know my thoughts and which ones are my favorites. So I'm just gonna run through each of these, show you some swatches, and then just kind of give you my thoughts and let you know which ones are my favorites and just kind of show you my collection of BH Cosmetics baked products. So let's get to it. Okay, first I'm gonna run through the different wild palettes from them. There are a lot of wild palettes from BH Cosmetics. So first there's the Wild Child palette. I love the packaging on all of these. They are so cute. Wild and Free. That one's really cute. Like they're kind of like animal printed. This one is Wild at Heart. This one's the newest one to me, to my collection. It's not the newest from them. But for some reason I hadn't picked this one up originally, but now I have it. This one is Wild and Radiant. This one is a face palette, so it's like a highlighter bronzer kind of a palette. And then this one is the Wild and Alluring. So this has eye products and also face products. So now I'm gonna show you some swatches. Okay, I zoomed y'all in a little bit so you can see these swatches a little bit better. So first off, Wild Child. This one is a really nice neutral palette. So if you are a neutral girl, if you like, you're kind of like, light pinky shades, sort of bronzy shades, light purples. I think you'll love this palette. It's really a beautiful collection of colors. Now I did swatch these all dry. Just know that you can foil these and that makes them, e them even more intense. Usually what I do and what I did today is I will foil them on my lid and then I'll either like blend them dry or I'll use them dry in my outer corner all of the above, but pretty much I mainly just foil them on my actual lid. So just know that these can be foiled and these are swatched dry, but they are still beautiful dry. Just really gorgeous shades. So neutral girls, this one's probably your palette. And if you like colorful makeup, especially blues and greens, I think you'll really like the Wild and Free palette. Really cute packaging on this one too. These are some bright colors. Like these are some intense blues in here, but there are also some neutrals. So I mean, if you like neutrals too, you do have some in this palette, but you can see, I mean, there are, you know, several blues and greens and teals and kind of light blue shades, and they are all really beautiful. I especially love that one in this palette. So gorgeous. But I mean, those bronzy shades are beautiful too. So that one was, what was that one called? I've already forgotten. That was Wild and Free. And if you like bright, colorful makeup that's more on the girly side, like pinks and purples, I think you'll really like the Wild at Heart palette. This one is definitely, I don't know, it has like an 80s feel to me, but I really love it. I don't know why I didn't get this one at first. I think I just thought I wouldn't wear it as much, which, you know, I probably won't, especially like the bright pinks. I don't wear pinks on my eyes a ton, especially really bright ones, but I do still think it's a gorgeous palette and it's just so fun. I mean, these are fun colors, but you could get a very neutral eye look with this, especially if you went for like some of the kind of more muted pinks and purples in here. So there are some definitely like neutral sided, neutral sided? There are the neutral side of these colors in this palette, but I mean, you've got some out there wha-bam sort of bright pinks and purples, and that one's kind of like a bluish sort of a purple there. So really, really pretty, but a bright, fun palette. And the face palette of the bunch is the Wild and Radiant palette. This one's really fun. This one, you'll see it in the swatches. These are pretty, like, very bronzy, really pretty orangey sort of bronzers. So I mean, they're definitely like those highlighting sort of bronzers. So what I will do is use these in conjunction with another bronzer. So usually a matte bronzer. Today I used it with kind of like a sort of a satin finish bronzer and just put just a, the tiniest little bit just to kind of give a little bit of warmth to my cheeks. But I mean, you can see they're pretty orangey bronzers, but the highlighters are really pretty. I do have this highlighter on the inner corner of my eyes today. So you could use these as shadow as well, or you can use them on your face, but I think it's a fun palette. I still really like this one. Then this one is a little bit bigger of a palette, the Wild and Alluring. This is actually an eyeshadow and highlighter palette. They say highlighter, but honestly, like, I almost consider this, like, that look seems more like a blush to me, and this seems more like, I mean, it depends on your skin tone, but I can use this as a blush, I can use this as a bronzer. For some skin tones, it would be a highlighter, but I don't know that I would consider that a highlighter. So anyway, 
I think this is like a shadow and face product kind of a palette, but it's a really fun palette. I love the look of this one. I love the packaging. I think just the way that they are marbled in there is so pretty. They're just pretty to look at and they all swatch beautifully. This is such a fun palette. I mean, look at that green. What? That's amazing. Ugh. And I do have, I kind of combined um, the two face products, highlighters, whatever, on my cheeks today. And it kind of made like a neutrally sort of blush. I really like it. Really, really pretty. So I love that one. And kind of switching gears, this one is not one of the wild palettes, but this is also a baked palette from them. This is the Galaxy Chic. It's an 18 color baked eyeshadow palette. So this one is the biggest palette of them all and it has a really fun collection of colors. Um, it's got some neutrals on this side. It's got some really beautiful purples, teals, blues, and kind of like darker blues and purples. Just really, really beautiful, kind of like burgundy red shades up there, oranges shades. You've kind of got the gamut here. I mean, like so many different options and they look really pretty in the pan. So this is a beautiful palette to look at and look at these swatches. So let me kind of try to hold it and then go slowly so you can see them all because they are all gorgeous. Gorgeous, oh my gosh. And I've used this one multiple times. Um, I'm wearing these on my eyes today, several of these. And I feel like this is a palette that you can make some really, really fun, bright, colorful, really like involved eye looks, but you can also go really super easy, neutral. Like today I just used this on my lid and then just a little bit of this one in my outer corner and on my lower lash line. So you can go neutral and easy with it or you can do super colorful and all kinds of involved with it. So really just a beautiful palette. This one, I mean, just swatches like incredibly well. So that wraps up all the swatches. So now to kind of narrow down my favorites. While I do love them all, and first I want to say these wear well throughout the day. I always use a primer. I typically use a sticky base, and I already kind of mentioned how I like to use them. I like to foil them on my lids and then blend them up dry. So I love them all. I think they're amazing quality, great pricing on all of these. They kind of vary in price depending on the sales that BH Cosmetics has going on, but usually like super, super good pricing. So love the price point, love how they perform. I really enjoy them all. But if I had to narrow down, I would pick these two, the Wild and Alluring and the Galaxy Chic. I just feel like these have the most like color variety and they're the biggest of the bunch. So they like, you know, just have more options for you in there. I think they're really pretty to look at. So if I could choose two, this would be, these two would be my choice. But if I could only choose one, it would be the Galaxy Chic, which I had heard so much buzz about this palette. I really hadn't heard anything negative, and I can see why, because it's just beautiful to look at, such a fun collection of colors. They swatch and perform amazingly well, and it's just a fun palette and a great palette. I think I paid like $12 for this, and I absolutely love it. So this one's my number one pick, but if I could choose two, I would say these two. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it, and I hope it was helpful for you. Please set a thumbs up if it was, and let me know down below what you think about their baked shadows, what are your favorite palettes from them, even from other companies. Like, if you have other baked shadows from other companies that you love, let us know that down below. That's always helpful for everybody, I think. If you guys have any questions for me, just ask those. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.